Australian meat workers are calling on the federal government to ban the export of livestock by 2015. They say the trend of exporting whole beasts means abattoir jobs are on the line. Regional abattoir workers fear they're a dying breed. We have seen towns will go from a seven day operation back to a five day operation. Uh, I don't think you have to be Einstein to work out where it's happening. The union says 300 jobs in Australia's north have got the chop since the start of the year, all because of the growing appetite for live exports. If Australia didn't supply, someone else would. And there is absolutely, unquestionably, Australia's standards on welfare, our standards on animal treatment, movements, transporting, etc, etc, far surpass that of anywhere else in the world. Australia exports to 106 markets around the world. As the demand for meat grows, so too do the pressures on the environment. We need to be uh, rejigging the policy signals, the signals from Canberra and the state capitals, so that we're rewarding uh, livestock producers for doing the right thing by the environment. 57% of land use in Australia is locked up in livestock farming, and it's a big source of greenhouse gases. Conservationists say there's no silver bullet and a world without meat would be just as unpalatable. And secondly, I think that the environmental consequences from that um, would, be, um, uh, would backfire on us. Uh, we would leave a lot of land unmanaged. Farmers say they're in the midst of a revolution on the land, where profitability and sustainability go hand in hand. And unless we're profitable, um, we'll have to sell out. Someone else will come in. If they can't be profitable and your people have to walk off the land, well then who will, who will f manage that? It's not easy being green if you're in the red. Francine Norton, ABC News.